What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's a great day to fly jets and not train calves. How about that? So, I know I have flown this scenario several, several times, and you're probably tired of seeing me fly it, but this one's going to be a little bit different because what I'm going to do is today, as of as of this recording, I'm recording it kind of late on on release day for the Jets DLC, but Basically, I want to go over in real time as I'm flying, I want to kind of talk about the new sensor overhaul. So um, when we get in here, I'm going to go ahead and queue it up and hit play. So while we're in here, I'm actually going to talk about what all the, uh, you say, symbology in the military, what it all means. Uh, symbology is not a real word. I know. I get it. I'm really not sorry about it. But guess what? We use it in the military. So, what the heck does all this stuff on the radar mean? So, basically, before we get into it too much, um, you're going to have circles, squares, and triangles on your on your screen. Green is good, white is not, white is unsure, red is bad. Circles is for foots, uh, foot people, soldiers, uh, personnel on the ground, um, Square is going to be a ground vehicle. Triangle is going to be an air vehicle. Um, and there's also going to be a line sticking out of uh, that symbol that tells you which direction that vehicle is facing or traveling. So that's a quick overview, just real quick. And then uh, when, once we get in the air, I will go into it a little more. Can interdict the crap out of this mission. Ain't nobody taking out my skies today. Ooh, sensitivity's turned up a little bit. Um, I think I know what's going on. Yeah, there we go. Get in our jet. carrier. I just wish we could use it a little bit more. And I'm actually going to freeze my track IR because I want you guys to also see the enter and exit animation um, that they've added with this, which I think is pretty tight. Back on. Hornet 1, 2 is pulled up and ready for takeoff. Alright, let's do this. Anyway, this is Hornet Flight. Ready on the safe shots. Over. So you see on the right, um, top left is the panel module, so I'm on sensor. If you look on my left panel, it's on nav. Uh, that's my targeting pod. That's my missile camera. And now we're on sensor. Sensor is your radar screen. Uh, radar status, radar off, radar on. Um, your heading, I'm, right now I'm pointing due north, so my heading is zero. and initiate the lock sequence and get in the air. And then that 16 kilometers on the top right, that's... Um, sorry. Oh, I must have fat-fingered something and turned off my... <laughs> turned my jet off on accident. My bad. There we go. And we are in the sky. Order two's up. Joining on lead. Order one copies. Climbing to 1500. Heading 050. Speed 720. Burner intercept. So 16 kilometers. That's that's my range. So each of each one of those rings, that's going to show. Um, if each one of those rings is basically four cl four clicks, four kilometers. Um, that's that's my guy out there. I need to catch up to him. Um, burner to intercept, whatever. Burner to intercept means that you're going to go after burner to intercept the guy. Do you see anything? Oh, man. Negative. Radar's clean. And um, those two green out. radar contacts way off in the distance, that half circle with the dot in the middle, that's telling you that there's a target out there with that's using active radar. And remember what I said, green is good. So those are two friendly, um, friendly vehicles switch to my 
AMRAMs. Those are two friendly vehicles that are using active radar. Need to drop some speed. Some altitude. So I've got this guy locked on uh, BBR. It's ambiguous on radar right now. Box two. Splash one. This one's for you, Chris. Box three. Box three. Box three. Now, if I hit, you'll see that that contact turn gray. And if he fires on me, you'll actually see a red cone. My radar off. You'll see a red cone. Looks like I got him. He fires on me. Well, I see you, bro. You're in a bad place. Guns. So what I'm trying to do is basically line up my gun sight. With, um, I'm trying to line up my gun sight with where, basically where the, the, uh, the Box lead three. thing is, is telling me to point. Box 3, send that away. Check the radar, boom, splash. Down. All enemy jets destroyed. The skies are ours. No one fired on me, which is fine. Um, you, didn't, you guys never got to see that, but that's okay. Where am I? Where am I casing at? I'm supposed to cast. So if I were to have been locked, here we go. If I were to have been locked by, um, ooh, we got a laser. We, if if I was locked by any one of those jets, there would have there would have been an, an amber or an orange cone um, that basically lit up in the and it would have indicated the direction in which I was being locked from. If it would have turned red. Uh, that means that there's a missile launch and they were trying to kill me, which is not good. I'm trying to lock my macers on these guys. That's alright. Let's go, GBU. So, when I spin around here, 
and I kick my radar back on. Well, I don't really need to kick the radar on. But you see, there's a uh, little red shine. Go. Bombs away. Bombs away. Got one. Dang view distance. View distance on the camera isn't, isn't really spectacular. I need to mess with my hotels and get the uh, get the zoom function mapped. My stick. Oh. Switch to laser marker. Laser, get my bomb back out. White hot for this one. Black hot. We were on white hot. Bombs away. Bombs away. Boom. Got him. Laser marker off. Enemy armor neutralized. Over. Face the targeting camera and come out of it. So there you have it. Good job, Fortitude. Come on home. That is not a barrel roll, by the way. That is an aileron roll. When you just spin like that. An aileron roll, a barrel roll. I don't know if I can do a barrel roll. This is more like what a barrel roll is. It follows more like a corkscrew pattern, like you're looping on the outside. I'm using my hands, I don't know why. Like you're looping on the outside of a barrel. Uh, aileron roll, which is what I just did, is when you just spin. So don't let Star Fox lead you astray. So, to recap, as we're cruising in, let's bring the throttle back just a skosh, go to 50. To recap, um, red, so this little cone here on the right, that cone there, if it's blue, that means radar. Uh, yellow would be your visual, red is your IR, and then uh, if it's dashed green, it will be um, your RWR, your radar warning receiver, slash passive radar if you have it. Uh, amber, the amber cone will be um, IR and visual. Um, I don't know what what all vehicles will use the IR viz, um, but there you have it. Now, mark target will be um, outlined in kind of a, a box, and your assigned target will be a diamond and it'll be in red. Um, if you see something that looks like a cross with a star in the middle, that's going to tell you, that's telling you that uh, that's your assigned target. Uh, an open circle with tick marks up and down, left and right, that is marking an IR stroke. So that could be friendly or enemy. And again, half circle with a dot in the middle, that's going to be a target with active radar. Circles... Um, foot soldiers, square is a ground vehicle, triangle is uh, air, green is good, red is bad, white is you're not sure. White is ambiguous, as they say. Once you lock onto a target, too, it'll tell you what you're locked onto and the distance, as well as the target speed. So if you're chasing or chasing down a, uh, uh, what's this called? A Shikra, and it's going, you know, 1,300 kilometers per hour. You're going to see that information. I realize that I'm making a very bold turn here. I don't care. Full flaps. 
I need to lose some speed and some altitude before I drop my gear. One thing that I want to try is I want to see if um, Kimmy's HMD mod is compatible with this. Here, the landing cross is telling me that I'm off to the left, off target to the left slightly. Coming in way too hot. Go. Now I'm off to the right too much. A little bit of juice here. Seventy-five is a sweet spot. That's when your your AOA indicator. That's when it's going to be lit up. Just have that yellow circle that's saying, "Yeah, bro, you're good. Bring her on home." Not my best landing. I broke the jet and I uh, probably killed some people. But hey, I can still move. I did my best. Not bad for a stressful first pass. I wonder if I did kill those guys. Let's check the uh, let's check the recap. Mission completed. Yeah, yeah, I know. I ran him over, but I didn't kill him. That's kind of neat. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, hearing me ramble about the new radar system and fly around in the in the Black Wasp. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you know, show me some love in the comment section down below. Maybe drop a like and maybe even subscribe. Even I don't know. I'm not. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, but I would appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and share, and do all that fun stuff. And if you want to fly with me, feel free to add me on Steam. That's cool. Uh, my Steam name is exactly as you see it here on the YouTubes. So feel free to add me on Steam. I don't really care. Um, so if you want to fly with me, just add me on Steam. Hit me up and let me know. Uh, I would like someone that's savvy with Zeus uh, to fly around with because I'm trash with Zeus. I have no idea how to use it. But I would like to do some um, more dynamic missions. I'm not good at creating missions. I'd like to create, be able to fly some more dynamic missions and stuff and maybe even do a little bit of form flying if you're into that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm rambling again. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.